One of the most anticipated things of 2021 is Windows 11. Now, Microsoft is about to announce the brand new Windows 11 on June 24th at the scheduled event. Now, before that, Windows 11 is already here and I got a chance to try out this early developer build of Windows 11. Hey guys, my name is KSK Ryo. Welcome to this brand new video of Windows 11. Now, this is the uh, first look at the upcoming Windows 11. And in this video, I'm going to walk through the uh, top features and changes of Windows 11 that are going to change the overall look of Windows 10. Now, before talking about the features, I want to talk about the uh, good news of the Windows 11 update. Now, according to XD8 developers, those who are running a Windows 7, 8, or 10 with an officially licensed key from Microsoft are going to upgrade to Windows 11 for free of cost. Now, this is yet to be confirmed by the Microsoft at their event. Now, let's get into the features part. The moment you are done installing a Windows 11, it's going to show you the brand new and updated a welcome screen that tells the user to create the user account and activate the things like location, diagnostic services and more. Now this welcome screen has been completely redesigned from scratch and looks fantastic. Microsoft is taking a Windows 11 to the next level. In one word, they have done a lot of visual improvements to the system UI. Now let's start with the taskbar and start menu. Now one of the biggest changes of Windows 11 is the brand new taskbar and start menu. By default, the taskbar items are moved to the center and there is an option in the setting that you can still customize the taskbar alignment. Also, there is a brand new start menu Windows logo, which looks more modern. Now, tapping on this icon shows the start menu, and this is the brand new start menu, which looks super cool. Now, on the top right, you can see an option to view all of the installed applications. Now, this start menu is divided into a three sections. The top section uh, shows the pinned applications, which are user customizable, and the center section is the recommended section, which provides the suggestions about the uh, recent changes happened in the system. The bottom section shows the user ID and power button. Now overall, I would say the all new start menu is easier to use compared to Windows 10. Now it's time to talk about a search. Now just like a spotlight in Mac OS, Microsoft has done a lot of things to all new search to improve its capabilities beyond you imagine. You can almost search anything on the system like contacts, ask about the weather, perform some calculations, and search for any file and more. Next to the search bar, there is a new icon that Microsoft is calling as a task view, aka workspaces. With Windows 11, the workspaces are getting an overhaul. Now, thanks to these, a brand new horizontal workspaces that are very easy to navigate across the system. Now, check this out. Tapping on this icon reveals the apps from that workspace. You can quickly glance through all of the opened applications. You can also create a new workspace by clicking on the new desktop. Now, these workspaces are super fancy and gives the true power to an end user to organize the applications according to their workflow. Also, there is a keyboard shortcut like holding a control plus win plus arrow keys switch between the workspaces.
Now it's time to talk about a widget. Now you might have seen in the latest build of Windows 10. With Windows 11, Microsoft is calling it as a widget. Now this section shows all the information and cards about your interest. It's very similar to a Google card feed on Android. And there is a no option on this build to add any app widgets like clock, screen time, which is kind of bummer. Now we have to wait for the official event of Windows 11 and see what Microsoft is gonna say a word about this all new widgets panel. Now I would say Microsoft should inspire from Mac OS and provide a way to add a real widget that are most powerful and useful to an end user. With Windows 11, many default applications are going to have a new look. New applications like Settings, Microsoft Store, and many other applications are getting a new design language. Now take a look at the all new File Explorer. Now there are some new icons added to the a frequent folders. Also if you notice, there are a rounded corners added to the edges of each window that looks super cool. Also at the bottom, you can see a very light dark shadow added to the application. With Windows 11, Action Center also got a few design changes. The new system toggles at the bottom look more natural and notice the rounded corners at the edges of each toggle. But thanks to the improved blur effect, the dark mode in Windows 11 is simply magnificent. Now, things like the start menu, taskbar, action center, and default applications look super fancy. We all know that Windows is one of the best operating system out there in the market that allows the user to snap the applications on the screen side by side. With Windows 11, Microsoft is going to take the all new snapping experience to the next level. Now inside any application, hovering on the maximize icon shows a way how you snap or align the application on the desktop. For example, let's say I want to snap this application to the left side. Now I would pick this option. Now instantly, as you can see, the app switcher on the right is popped out and helps to snap another application to the right side. Now this is very interesting. Also notice that a blur effect you get to see while snapping the applications manually. With all new snapping tools, you can tell the system how you want to snap the application and the system does it for you. And these are some of the top features of Windows 11. You know, other features include a new ink workspace, faster performance, brand new system animations, new icons, brand new media controls, and more. So what do you guys think about the upcoming Windows 11? So let me know in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching this video. It's been KSKRIO. I'll catch you in my next one.